drag queen thing over here and brought it from America. Yeah. And he tweeted, love has no age. This is not an innocent thing that's going on there. If drag queen story out of UK can actually tweet, love has no age, what do you think? Oh, so you're interpreting that as they're tell all paedophiles. No, what, no, what do you think it means? Tell, help me out. If I'm this guy, How do you tell interpret me you it then? Love has no age. What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Were you aware we've, of the If we've got it back, we've got it backward. Yeah. We've got it backward. Tell us how it's straight. Yeah. Help me out. Tell us what how we're confused. What do you think it means? And this person has got, look, they actually put loads of little hats and blowing balloons. I mean, do you think he's talking about 18-year-old men and 80-year-old women? Do you think that's what this drag queen I'm, is talking about? What I'm, what I'm yeah, seeing is not they want to do anything so with you don't kids. think drag queen they're, stories are, are into that no they're why just sorry about that they're what do you think about this happened two weeks ago Sharon Legrand at the National Theatre in London at the end of this person's story hour they said children should be taught to open up their legs do you think there's any correspondence there's another drag queen well, story hour well to be perfectly honest we should I'd not want, have drag what, queen what I, what I would what want you to do that? what do you think what I'm, I'm trying to tell you if you let me have a word in what I would do is do my sorry. own research on that because yeah, no, quite have. frankly I know where you're coming from, and I don't like it. You know what I'm what coming from. Where, where's and where the you research? Don't like it. It's not you. What you research? know where they're coming from and don't like what it. Research? You don't like where I'm coming from. They're saying love. Everybody should. That is are not you what deluded? Love is. That what is are love? you sex. so that deluded? Is not sex. And what about this? So what's a drag queen? I then? don't know where that's So you don't from. know this, and you don't know anything about love has no age no. movement. You don't know. I think you should do a bit of research and open your mind. If, if you found out this was the case, how would you feel? If this was the case, if well, there if was a movement... If you see BBC well, see it, say it two years down the line, what would you think? Yeah. There, there, there's a lot of people whose perception is that anybody who's homosexual... No, we're not that's a lie. That's, that's homophobia. No one hears no homophobia. No that's, that's a... That's a uh, what's you, well, you see, that's straw, where man. I no, think no, it's coming. No, no, that's unique. where you got it this wrong. This is unique to transgender. That's where you're this wrong. This is unique to these people who are actually promoting love as no age. See, LGBTQ doesn't fit into drag queen culture. This that's is what, outside of. That's what the T is. How much yeah. research? That's what the T is. What? Yeah. LGBT it means yeah. trans. Trans. Yeah. It doesn't mean yeah. drag queen. It doesn't mean drag queen. It should be D, shouldn't it? Not well, T. Well, they're just having a bloody laugh. Are you no. making this up to no. fit your own agenda because you're yes. scared of the conclusions that are so no. obvious in your face? You, Actually, you you're causing me anxiety and distress, and could you go? Now? <laughs> oh, I mean God, it genuinely. I'm so terribly Please. sorry. Could I'm, you go? I apologise. Please go. Please. I've just come to no, see. No, I do. As a, as a, as a, yeah. Thank you. What's your name, and what do you think about today? Uh, my name's Billy. I'm down here with a couple of mates uh, protesting this whole thing, you know. Um, I've known about Drag Queen Story Hour for a long time, you know, ever since I started doing it in America. Things died down for a little bit. I noticed there's a lot of events picking up over here. And, you know, I find it utterly reprehensible that people are, uh, you know, sitting children down as young as five and even younger and talking to them about gender identity and their sexuality. These aren't concepts. <laughs> These aren't concepts which are uh, family friendly, they're not concepts that children should even be discussing, right? And the point of the matter is, it's coming from a very, um, very one-sided perspective, right? They're doing this for a very specific uh, goal. Even in their own words, it's to soften ideas around sexuality and gender expression around kids. It's to get little boys used to the idea of acting like a little girl, acting like a, acting like a drag artist, right? And uh, you know, getting them desensitised to these ideas, so that as they're getting older and as they they start interacting with more adult things, they start doing it through their little lens. You know, through this lens of being LGBT, this lens of being gay or trans or a drag queen. And you know, that's that's entirely what the goal is here. And where do you think where do you think it's coming from? Well, um, I think there are definitely certain interests. Uh, certain corporate interests that absolutely are pushing this agenda. You know, so every single corporation now has the, own, the same social agenda. They're all pro BLM, all pro gay, all pro drag, all pro Pride Month. Then, you know, you start to notice that perhaps uh, like there could be something very deep here. You know, truth to the matter. rage on behalf of the machine. Pretty much, yeah. This this is a real machine. You know, these people like to make themselves out to be revolutionaries and be counter to the status quo. They are the status quo. Yeah. They are the, they're essentially capitalism's red guard. 